Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the Govi Immersion Kit, which has been designed to go behind your television to extend the light onto the wall to increase the immersion factor of your viewing experience. I'd like to thank Govi for sending this kit in for review, and I'll have links in the description to where you can buy one for yourself. Now, a full disclaimer here is that my TV is actually 75 inches, and the recommended size for this kit is 65 inches, but I really wanted to give it a go and test it out, so I decided that I would try and make it work and I have to say that I'm really happy that I did because it turned out really well although I do think you might even get a better experience using a smaller TV. Now I'm a big fan of bias lighting and while I see a lot of people argue about whether or not it's good I can personally say that I think having soft ambient lighting behind your TV can really help increase the black levels and make the colors pop and I was curious to see that if I would notice any difference so stick around to the end where I give my verdict. Now would be a great time for you to smash the like button for me as it really helps out the channel and we'll get right into the video. So in the box we have the LED strips which are broken up into four sides and have a length of wire which allows you to position the strips with some flexibility. The top and the bottom strips measure in at 120 centimeters, which is about 47 inches and the sides are about 70 centimeters, which is 28 inches. There is also a 1080p resolution camera which is what the immersion kit uses to capture the colors on the screen. We also have the control unit with adhesive so that you can attach it to the back of the TV and it has some buttons on it to control the mode, color and brightness. There is a 12 volt power brick to give the controller and the lights power. There are also seven orange cubes which you stick to the screen at various spots to allow you to do the calibration, but I'll have more on that later in the video. There are also some adhesive clips which are great for adding additional strength to the LEDs once they are stuck to the back of the screen and some alcohol wipes to clean the surface. So the installation was pretty straightforward. After disconnecting the cables from the TV, we moved it over to the lounge. The reason we did this was so that we could work out the best possible position for the LEDs as our TV was larger than the recommended size and we wanted everything to line up as best as we could with more prominence going to the top and to the sides. Once we stuck the LEDs down and had the controller unit on the back, we stuck the camera to the top of the TV and then it was a family affair with my wife and two of my kids helping us plug everything in as we approached the wall. The next thing to do is to connect the controller to the Govi app and as you can see I have a lot of Govi products in my home and I have to say out of all the smart home devices that I own, the Govi app and the ecosystem is by far the easiest and quickest to add devices to. Simply press the Bluetooth button in the top right corner and it will find it and you just follow the steps to add your home Wi-Fi to it which is instantly found by Amazon Alexa and you're almost done. Next, after sticking down the orange dots, you can go through and use your fingers to push the dots to the edges of the screen so that the camera can mark out the position and correlate it to the LEDs and the screen. It did take a few attempts at positioning to get it looking exactly how I wanted but this process is very easy to follow and even with just the default mode on the app the effects on the wall were pretty awesome so there are two main options that i think work best for this setup but i'll give a quick overview of all the options available to you as you can see you can choose the different colors through the effects lab based on certain criteria like if you pick emotions they've got enthusiastic and they've kind of put colors that they think match that so you can go through and you can pick them so I think it's a nice effect. I actually really like blue. I think blue on the wall just sort of makes the color pop. It's kind of universal. It's almost like using white. Um, you know, colors like yellow, I think stand out too much and red also stands out too much. But anything in the blue tone, I think looks really good and makes the screen pop. So going back out, we'll go into the next option and that is the timer. So with the timer, you can choose when you want it to go on and off. Um, and you, you've got four different options there, so you can repeat um, as many as you like. You can um, say turn it on, go in, and then you can turn, uh, pick which days of the week you'd like to do this for, and um, set the time itself. So I'm not going to do that because actually I'm not going to use a timer. So the next option is brightness, and obviously you can just pull the wheel down if you'd like to change it. You can see you can go almost to nothing, so you can't see it at 1% and then slowly increase it all the way up to 100. And I, I think it looks quite good at 100%. The Govi LEDs are really bright. 
So next we move down to modes and obviously by choosing in the effects lab the different colors, it's automatically set it to the color mode. So we'll have a look at that first thing as we're in there already. Um, you can choose gradient mode and then what you can do, which is really cool, is you can tick and untick the sections of the LED and then you can change the colors. So for example, I can make that section red and you can see in the bottom left of the screen now, we have a red LED. Just say you want to change the next one to orange, you can see that it kind of blends now. So you have to select and unselect, but then I can say choose that one to be yellow. And the next one I can do green. And the next one I can do dark blue. And then light blue, which is already selected. And then purple. And so forth. And you can see it's created a really nice halo around the screen. So I absolutely love that you can do that with these Govee um, LEDs. You know, you can either choose like a flat color. So if you wanted to select them all, you can say change them all to purple. Um, or you can just multiple select and change them on all in one go, which is really awesome. So we'll go back out of colors and we'll just start off with each of the different options. So this one is music mode, and you can hear as I talk that it's affecting the colors behind the screen. So this might be really cool if you had like a music video or something playing and you wanted to, you know, have a bit of a dance party in your house. Not something that I would ever do, but you know, that's the option there. So it's not something that you would want on while you're watching a movie. It would probably be very distracting, but that is how the music mode works. And you can choose different things like rhythm, so this one will flash and different colors. And then you have the spectrum, which it basically changes the colors and then rolls towards the center. Then you've got rolling, which you can see as I talk, it sort of rolls out around to the starting point, which is the bottom left corner. And next we go to video mode. And I think this is the whole reason why you would want to buy this, because what you can do is you can have it using the camera, what it will do is it will actually sample, as you can see right now as the image changed, there's a lot of blue in there. So it's picking out the colors that it's detecting on the camera and it's displaying them on the LED. What I'll do is I'll go back to there and you can see straight away, it's picking out all of the colors that are out of that screen there. That's my Plex screen and where I've got my demo videos. As I pick some royalty free videos so that I could do the demo and I thought there were some really cool ones here where you can actually see it. So you see just by hovering on the thumbnail, it's making things more prominent because it's changing the background. So when I hover onto that jellyfish one, it changes the background on Plex to blue and it's picking out a lot of blue. Um, and if I go to white, which has like a purple sort of background there, it's sort of sampling purple and therefore the camera is picking up a lot of purple. And same with this one, if I go to there, it's more of a rainbow in the background it picks it out. So I think that is really cool. It's, um, you don't necessarily want it on all the time as it's going to be quite saturated having it at hundred percent. But when you're watching a movie, if you have it pulled down to zero, it's actually a far more accurate representation of the color. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to push it all the way to hundred. So it's exaggerated so that you can actually see it. So what I'll do is I'll go to this rainbow colors in oil and I'll hit play. So as you can see there, it was really effective at pulling those colors and it just, I think, <laughs> creates a really cool effect. So when you're watching a movie, you can have it set and just lower the saturation like this. And so it's not as noticeable. So you'll see a slight glow and you'll find that the color representation is actually more accurate when you have the saturation set down quite low. But I just wanted to demonstrate it. So I'm pulling it right up high so that you can see it on camera. So we'll play another demo now. This one is Dance of Multicolored Colors. So we also have the scene option on the app. And as you can see, you can pick things like the dating theme, which uses warm colors, nice romantic colors like red and orange, and it will just cycle between them. Same with movie that goes to like a white color 
and cycles between white and blue because um, those are very cool colors and that's what they've worked out looks good uh, for when watching a movie and I tend to agree with them. When I like to watch a movie um, in the testing that I've done, I've generally had it on this mode because what it does is it creates a really high contrast image. The black levels look really black and the colors look really vibrant and pop with that as the background. There's all various ones as well, like you have crossing, which yeah, let's, let's face it, probably not gonna have that on while you're watching a movie. And you got rainbow as well, it's an animation. Again, probably not while you're watching a movie, It'd be quite distracting. But um, yeah, you can check out all the different modes. Like I said, movie is probably the best one um, for me uh, that I like to choose. So you can see it hasn't changed even though the image is changing. So it's not engaging the camera at this point. So if you want to do that, you go back to video mode and you'll see it starts sampling the colors straight away. It's pulling out a lot of the blues and the purples. So what we'll do is we'll play some demos so that you can check out how it looks. I'm not going to use movies because of copyrighted material, but you'll get an idea just by seeing the demos that I'm playing. So the Govi Immersion Kit is surprisingly cost effective, coming in at just 79 USD, considering it covers all four sides of the screen, has Wi-Fi, a camera to capture the colors, there's quite a bit of gear in this for the price. Competing products are substantially more, although I won't mention any of them in this video. I also really like the quality of the colors and the effects, having the bias lighting on dramatically improved the viewing experience, as the perceived black levels just became very black and the colors seemed to pop out of the screen more than I had noticed before. Although I was more of a fan of turning the color to white or the movie mode, I did find that having the colors changing constantly was a little bit distracting. Govi has made some leaps and bounds forward in the LED lighting space. And as mentioned, I have a lot of LED Govi products and I really like how simple it was to install, set up and configure compared to some of the other ecosystems that I have and they're also marginally more expensive. I'll leave a link in the description to my star ceiling video up above where I used my first Govi product being the LED strips around the bulkhead of my home theater. And I was very impressed with how bright and colorful they were. And that's why I decided to pursue getting more products from Govi. The setup process is very easy. The adhesive for the LEDs is great. And having a black backing inside the LED strips also helps to make them blend into the back of the TV. The calibration process was a breeze and I think even on my oversized screen that the camera did a great job of capturing what was on the screen and pushing it outward to create a nice effect on the wall behind. For the cost of 79 US dollars, I think it's a great low cost to entry to having some bias and immersive lighting behind your TV. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure you smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel and ticking the bell so that you don't miss my future videos. I will have links in the description to where you can buy one for yourself so do consider checking that out if you're interested now i do have some more govi centric videos coming as you can see i've got the aura lamps here which are awesome i've got one installed at the moment and also this flow pro bar which i believe uses a very similar technology to the immersion kit however you've got these two bars that you can put 
horizontally or vertically, however you want to mount them, and it will pick up colors coming off the screen. So it'd be great for gaming, and I'm gonna install these on my gaming PC and do some gaming demos. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. It's gonna be coming up very soon. Anyway, that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.